Have you ever had Final Cut Pro 10 crash so bad that you had to use the force quit command? Then, when you restarted, you got the whirly beach ball of death? You restarted, got the whirly ball, and no matter how many times you force quit, restarted, even restarted your computer, you could never get Final Cut to recover. At that point, you're getting desperate. You're worried that you've lost your event, your media, your edits, your project, and you can see no way out. Well, that's when you need this video. I'll show you how to recover without a problem. It's really pretty simple. Here's how you do it. The first thing you do is you force quit it. I know you're worried about losing changes. Well, you don't have a choice. You have to force quit. So you hit the force quit. Then you're going to get a little dialogue that's going to pop up. Normally, I just hit ignore. I don't really want to report it. And uh, But if you do hit the report button, you're going to get another dialogue that's going to present itself. Your next step is to start Event Manager X. Event Manager makes it easier for you to manage your files. You can move projects, you can move events offline, and then you can restart Final Cut Pro. Once you get it going again, you can move them back online and you'll be back in business. If you did press the Report to Apple button, you're going to be presented with a dialogue. It'll probably interrupt what you're doing like it does right here. And then you go through the dialogue. You can send them the information. Hopefully that'll help Apple make some changes in the future. Once you send that, then you're going to get back to the event manager and uh, we can get on with our task at hand. In this case, I've isolated the event that uh, was causing the crash. I'm going to click here on the event manager. That's going to move it to a folder called Events Not in Use. Once I do that, I'm going to push the button that says Restart Final Cut Pro, and then it'll do all of that in the background, Start Final Cut Pro, and then we'll see just how effective it was once Final Cut Pro starts. Well, here we see Final Cut Pro is starting again. Uh, it goes through the normal dialog. You see how much time it takes. Good thing for us, uh, Final Cut Pro starts again, and we're back in business. Now I know what you're saying. It can't be that easy. Oh, look what's happened. Oh, now we're panicking. Where's all our media? Well, it disappeared because we moved it and it went offline. Funny thing about Final Cut Pro 10.0.3, it goes out and finds that missing media, which is interesting when you think about it. Now the next step is to quit Final Cut Pro and then bring our media back online. We'll start up uh, Event Manager. We'll move the event back. Restart Final Cut, and we're back in business. I made this little video because uh, Final Cut Pro 10 very rarely crashes, and when it does, it normally recovers. But if it doesn't, well, you can really be in a panic. So here's a tool, if it happens to you, you can fix it, you can get back in business. You probably won't even lose a single edit. Be sure to check out swainhart.org.